The streets of Hong Kong echo with the sound of tear gas being fired into the air, even in the metro. As protesters defied authorities by gathering for the 10th weekend in a row, police took a harder line to try and clear the streets quicker than before. With protests becoming increasingly heated, police are facing criticism for their violent tactics. I was just hit by riot police. I'd already left. I wasn't taking part in an illegal assembly. Police have arrested more than 600 people since demonstrations began in June. There were a lot of young people being arrested, but whenever I tried to approach them and offer my support as a social worker, the police rejected it every time. They didn't let me help. They didn't let me observe their body search. They just chased me away with their shields. Demonstrators are facing a toughening stance from Beijing, which is determined to ignore their calls for the resignation of Hong Kong's Beijing-backed leader, Carrie Lam. Protesters say they're fighting against the erosion of Hong Kong's semi-autonomous arrangement with the mainland. Over at the city's airport, demonstrators were seeking to raise awareness of their cause among foreign visitors during a third day of sit-in. They also chanted support for Cathay Pacific staff after the airline fired two ground personnel and removed a pilot from flying duties, a day after China's aviation administration demanded it suspend employees involved in recent demonstrations.